Hey guys, welcome to another video. This time we have Siege and we have a very interesting Siege. Today we are facing some very high level players with some really, really tough defenses. So we are trying to beat them and we are going to try to counter those defenses. And for the first fight of every Siege, I try to cleave. So we are trying to cover those or this defense that has a very nice win-lose record and seems really interesting you know every defense that has savannah is interesting and yeah let's see how this goes we're trying to copper the the iris and then we will bulldozer the the tessarian and then we will be three on one against that savannah who can do nasty stuff you know savannah well but yeah we should be able to win this unless that tessarian is incredibly tanky and has very high damage reduction and you know guys it was not the case so yeah let's try to kill this 3 and 1 and we are done for this defense Well, this one's very interesting defense, and yeah, Elio can actually counter this if that Savannah is not on wheel runes. However, there's always the chance of a 15%, you know, the resistance, and also maybe they are too strong and they yield something fast, you know. Their RNG can happen all the time. This is a game of RNG, so yeah. But we are using a very particular team. I, I don't think, I think this is the, this is the debut of, of this little princess here in Siege. So yeah, I wanted a reviver. So yeah, of course Yara went for the Leo. It would have been great if she went for my Michelle, who is on 100% resistance. But yeah, resistance doesn't matter either. So who cares? Now that was a very tough, okay. That was a very hard hit. My Michelle has the defense leader skill from Leo and she has high defense, high HP, so she's fairly tanky and that attack did a lot of damage. So yeah, we took out the Daphnes and now we will take out Ciara and after killing Ciara, we are good to go. And yeah, we will end up losing some units here, maybe everything. Oh, we couldn't kill the Ciara. I should have gone for the first kill because my, my Laika is on violent runes, so yeah, he could have absorbed some HP. But I have a vampire Leo here, so my Leo will actually recover his health all the time. And of course, he will push back the attack bar of that Barbara, so I will be getting more turns than her in the long run. Here we go. So yeah, that was amazing. We killed this with this counter and Michelle won her first fight, her debut. So that was very good and against a very nice defense as well. You see that guy? That's G1. That's very good. And here we are against Seratu, against Camun and Orion. This defense used to be a pain and I think this defense has been around since the Camun buff, you know, back three years ago or so so a lot of people know how to counter this defense and you know the most reliable way to counter this is to actually outspeed and blitz the Sora 2 so you are three on two against the Camun and the Orion and if you have three water units it will be great because you know the Camun who is the other damage dealer of this team can't do much damage to water units so yeah this team should work if we outspeed because you know there's always the chance that the opponent Orion has very good runes my Orion doesn't so yeah you could see that I, I haven't even plus 15 some of the runes so yeah he didn't get much love but we outsped so now we got rid of the of the Sarah 2 and we are free to kill the Camun now so yeah let's go for it we won this guys we already won
and here we are again against a defense that actually has the transmogs of Guardian RTA players. So yeah, let's try to clear this one with the usual Olivia Raccoon Evil Dozer. I don't think this defense can do much against that team unless they are incredibly fast and hit really hard so that the Ritesh can defense break something and the Umbrella Jewel can use the second skill and kill. Maybe Pro can kill something, but unless that happens and it did not happen, then we are good to go. And now we got rid of Bella Jewel and now we will focus on Ritesh. I don't think Ritesh and Wusa together can do anything against my team unless the Ritesh procs a ton, a ton, and gets different freaks in. And well, you know, I, I don't think we can lose this. I actually don't think we can lose this. Now it's a matter of cycling the the bulldozer as much as possible so that we can get the third skill faster, so that we can win this as fast as possible. You know, there's no way we can lose this right now. facing a usual not for defense well you know how this works the the clara should be fast then strip and stun your full team then galleon will defense break your full team and then that kitty will kill something but we have we actually have a lure for her you know we will try to lure her into into our grow so that you know Grogu can't be killed unless he's hit six times, which that Miho won't do. So after she attacks the Grogu, then we will heal him with our little little thing here, our Lulu and friends. And well, then it's a matter of taking them out one by one. I will leave the Miho for last because she's not a threat. She will always keep attacking Grogu and she will not do anything to Grogu. So we have the permanent heals of our lovely, lovely Lulu. And guys, this is Lulu's debut as well. So yeah, two debuts in this, in this siege. And this is a very nice siege. We are trying to take on fairly good defenses. However, during the, the last few fights, we won't be able to, mainly because we ran out of good units to take on the best defenses. And also because we ran out of defenses to take on as well, so yeah, but yeah, we won this, unless that Miho does a crazy, crazy thing, a crazy comeback, but I don't think she can. However, she's luring the crits from my Lulu, my Lulu has 20 something crit rate, and my Lulu is critting all the time, that's not good. Also, my Lulu doesn't have maxed out runes, I should max the slot 4 at least, but yeah, we won anyways. And another Galleon Clara defense, but this time it's with Jen instead of Miho. So we can lure Jen into our ablution here so that she can kill the, the, the water joker then he will come back to life, we will apply bombs, I hope to apply the bombs, you know, he's on very high attack, so yeah, I hope those bombs can kill something, and in the meantime, we will get rid of that Yen, so that 
they lose their main damage dealer and we will consider that Galleon may be on crit damage as well, on violent and crit damage. So yeah, we have to take care there as well. We have to be careful about Galleon too, so maybe Galleon will be a nice second target. But yeah, here even though we stunned her, we she brought out of the stun which is okay, she has violent and she has a passive that gives her additional turns as well, so we can't complain about that. And now if we are able to take out the Galleon, then we are good to go, but here first I will stun the Clara, so I can recover the health of my, of my Garo, so that I can survive maybe a proc from Galleon, and we are good to go. And guys, I don't need to explain how this will work, right? I will buff, I will push up the attack bar of my Fat Lucian with the attack buff from my Tion, and then my Fat Lucian will get rid of the full team, or if he does not and the full team survives, then I lose. As easy as that. Now I decided to take on this defense because I found it interesting, this defense had no, no wins or losses, it was 0-0, zero and, zero. and yeah I found this interesting, I want to know what this guy will do, you know, is that a very fast Kaki, is, is that a very fast Paladin, I don't know. I have my second Copper Dozer team here, so my MST is only plus 180 or so. So I'm not really fast right now, so if they were to outspeed me and that Kaki deals nasty things, you know, Kaki can defense rig, so if he goes for my, my Mesity and kills, well, you know, all of that did not happen. I boosted my Bulldozer, Bulldozer got rid of the only threat, and now we can get rid of the Paladin and be 3 on 1 against the friend who can do anything against us. So yeah, we won. And now we're taking on one of the defenses that I actually use. I have a defense like that, and it doesn't have very nice win-lose record, but it's sort of a nice defense, annoying, it has been around for a very long time, and it used to be much better when Molong was incredibly broken, you know, the second skill. You guys remember that? There was a, an RTA season where Molong was the first pick all the time. So yeah, here we are using the Fire Pony to lure the attack of Molong. Of course, we will be taking turn one thanks to our Beast Rider here. And if there weren't any well runs, then we could have provoked. But yeah, we did not, we don't need to and we are trying to, to actually proc the passive of Triana as soon as we can and we, are, we will apply the shields so that you see that you see what Molong did there, nothing, he didn't even break the shield and yeah, now we have shields to protect us from the Perna and Perna took three turns so we did well by buffing the shields and now we try to take out the first life of Perna and once we do that then we will transform into a human form and start defense breaking and killing things. We will, we will get rid of Perna first and then we will see what's defense broken and then move on from there. So this should not be a problem at all. This team will counter that one really, really well unless, you know, we fail a lot of the provokes, which will be very bad for us. And yeah, but, and they take a million turns like that Perna did turn one. But, you know, what can you do about that? Nothing, guys. Nothing you can do. That's why I love clips. Because, you know, with a clip you win turn one and you don't care about the, the opponent's bio. So, yeah. But, there is not much I, I can say here, guys. I'm waiting for the will to, 
get off the Triana so that I can transform and start defense raking. And that's it. We won this. Now, for the last fight of this war, we're going to Cliff, and we're going to take on an Aldina 5. Now, the only way this team can lose is if, uh, if that Praha is on Nemesis runes, which will be very bad for us, and is on Will runes as well. So yeah, then my, my Charlotte can deal damage, can proc the, the Nemesis of that Praha, then that Praha may strip my Lucian, and my Lucian doesn't deal enough damage and they survive, so then Praha can heal up everyone. But yeah, that did not happen, guys, so we won this. We won this fairly, fairly easy. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This will be the last fight of the siege. We got 10 wins. We fought some very competitive battles here and we almost lost one. So yeah, this was a different siege and that may be because we are on higher G1 right now so yeah we found some very strong players and very nice defenses so guys if you like this please leave a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe and remember if you have any questions about the game let me know in the comment section and i will be very happy to reply as always see you all in the next one bye bye